a little bit of this or that on the podcast today. We'll give you two Georgia players, but you can only keep one on the 2022 roster. Who are you going to take all of that today on the Locked On Bulldogs podcast? You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. I am Daniel. That is Clint. And um, we're back together. Yes, sir. Another week of shows. Feels good. Does. Feels right. Feels normal. Feels natural. Um, Clint um, has been doing some traveling, been under the weather. So he's going to be muted for half the show today. Look, look, a lot lot of the Yankee hate will be very glad to hear. The voice is not the best. The allergies have taken over the eyes. And all you Mm -hmm. Yankee Yankee haters are going to be loving life. This is going to be a a southern draw that I don't have uh, type podcast for a little bit. Uh, But if you follow a question, though, Clint, uh, what about that Alabama thing in the background there? Do you see just just one more time? What What about that? One more time. There is uh-huh. no mullet on the back of the A, and this no. is a World Series trophy. So looks this, a lot like looks like that. A is what it looks. That's what we're like. trying looks to say. Lot, that's what we're like trying that. to say. Um, hey, if you follow us on YouTube, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, get those notifications, ring that bell. If you're over on anything that has to do with the audio side, subscribe. Leave, leave us a five star rating and review. Get this podcast to your device, listening device, following us on Stitcher or Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to. Uh, and we are part of Locked On Atlanta, part of the Locked On Podcast families. Proud to be doing so. Today, we are talking this or that. And here's what that means. Mm. Daniel and I are going to take names from this roster and we're going to give it to the other person saying, you can only get with this. And if you're if you're showing your age right now because you're singing the song in your head, well, welcome. This is what you get a little bop. Sorry, executive, executive producer intern Michael. Do we have the rights to play the play the song? Play the song. No, we do not. I'm okay. hearing well, we do not. We do well, not have the rights. Intern Michael we, fails us again. We've um, not yet acquired those rights. No, we haven't. No. We haven't. Actually, no one has the rights to it. Uh, don't I'm know. Not even sure. Yeah. I'm not even sure those rights are still still exist. I'm not even sure that's still a thing. Uh, but we're going to give each other names we're going to talk about. If you can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this, name one. Mm-hmm. You can get with that, name two. Should I give a four example for the people just to, help, just to help people understand what we're talking about? So if we were the University of Auburn, yes, we would be asking questions like, you can get with this, Bo Nix, or okay. you can get with that, TJ Finley. And if you were Auburn, you would yeah. say – well, if I can only keep one, let me think real hard about it. Uh, Bo Nix, you may leave, and we'll keep TJ Finley. Which, by the way, what a poverty situation that would be to have to choose between. I mean, that's like saying, do you want me to punch you in the left eye or do you want me to punch you in the right eye? That's, that's not a great situation. Either way, but this By the way, is... really quick, you know who's going to lose out on this uh, scheduling change in the SEC the most? Uh, Auburn. Auburn. They're yeah. going to have three constants every single year. It's going to be LSU, Alabama, and us every single year. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not even mad. I think if I think if, if we've learned anything from the comments over the last couple of days, it's that the SEC is much weaker than the West. That's what I've heard. And so what it is, is that the strength of scales. I've lived in Las Vegas. I can tell you for certain about Southeastern Conference football, because if there's one thing people from Nevada know, it is Southeastern Conference football. So can I just I think by Daniel, I live on the important. West Coast. I grew up on the West Coast. Let me tell you, football is poor out there. We're, poor. We're, we are getting, we're getting behind our, with okay, ourselves. Sorry. Let's we're, do the name, Daniel. Let's do this or that. This or that. So let's start. Let's start with the quarterback position. I'll give you. I'll give you a softball to start, and I'll say you can get with this, Brock Vandegrift, or you can get with that, Carson Beck. You can only keep one. 
for the remainder of their Georgia career on the roster, Clint, who are you going to take? Look, this is going to sound re- just ridiculous, and I'm and I'm sorry are because you? I. I, no, I'm really not. Actually, I don't apologize for much. I every I time he says he's sorry, people, to he means absolutely nobody. He means um, screw you. I am I, that, that is a that is a precursor to I I hate you and all that you stand for. Uh-huh. Um, give me Carson Beck for the rest of his career at yeah. UGA. Um, I was nervous you were going to go the other way. That's no, the- sir. No, sir. Right. I want Carson Beck. I want the guy who's been in the system more. I want the guy who I think has a bigger ceiling. I want the guy in which George Pickens said, I want that man throwing me the football at my pro day, in which I want to go make millions of dollars and showcase my talents. I want him throwing the football to me. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, and I, I think Brock Vandegrift, um, look, it's yet to be seen, but I think others who might be coming into the program – intent uh or those who are already on campus will outduel him for any position going forward daniel what about you would you rather have beck or vandegriff yeah i go with beck as well i think that's the right choice i think uh, what he showed at g day shows me progression and at the quarterback position yes. that's what you want to see under todd munkin in the offense you want to see progression you want to see the the rock being pushed up the hill so to speak Brock Vandergriff, I think he's got a ton of potential, but if I'm going to have to choose one P word, I'll go with progression instead of potential. So give me Carson. Absolutely. All day, every day. Hey, we're going to come back. We got more names to go through. We're just going to get rapid fire, go down this roster. But first, we'll let you know about Rock Auto. Rock Auto is the best and fantastic full mustache. It is the full mustache, y'all, of all auto the way all the way around. Look, it even gets you know that saying? weird connection. Like, you know, it, it gets that line all the way to the other side. It doesn't dip down like some half breeds who can't do that. You didn't know. You didn't know hair could grow right there. When you no one knew, but it's the full mustache <laughs> yeah. of auto parts. It's foreign or domestic. Whatever car you have, you're going to get the best reliably low priced sent straight to your door without having to go get shanked at some shady auto parts dealership, auto parts store that sticks the floor every single time you, you walk on it. It's going to have every single car part your car will ever need. Daniel and I used to uh, redo all these old cars. We went, went through mm-hmm. 86 Civics and 94 Toyotas. Mm-hmm. It was fantastic, but we're done with those days. But all of the car parts that we used to do came from Rock Auto. Head over there right now in the how did you hear about us comment section. Type in Locked On. It helps us, helps you get the right part at reliably low prices straight to your door. That's rockauto.com. All right, Clint, you're up. Uh, let's go with the next two names on the list. You can only keep one, but um, maybe both would be appealing. All right, so I'm going to go actually uh, – much has been made about this offensive line. I think two groups of this well, – we have, we have a transfer portal problem, Clint. Offensive linemen are leaving the program in droves. I'm sorry, we are not going to talk about the comment section on YouTube. No, 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 no. We are going to talk about the comment section. You all keep keep giving us content that is gold for days. Thank you all for doing it. A transfer portal problem? It's really a culture problem under Kirby Smart. Do you remember Tyke Smith? Do you remember Eric Gilbert? Do you remember these people who are transferring? Talent is talent is seeping out, leaking out, Daniel. Leaking out. What about what about the number? What about the tackle who put his name in the portal, went out and saw the world and came back to UGA? Oh, interesting. That's a problem. It's a it's a real problem. Thanks a lot for YouTube comments. Um, turns out not everybody should hit that send button. You should hit edit. Mm. Um, okay. So offensive line, defensive back, I think two of our stronger groups this coming year. Okay. I think they're okay. incredibly strong. I think this offensive line. So I'm going to go to the guard position, Daniel, because okay. guard might be, might be if we're going to use kind of the, the weak chain in the armor. I don't know. We're, we'll okay. debate it later. But you can get with this Tate Ratledge, or you can get that with flow. that. He, it's just flowing. That flow. It no, flow. That's, it flow. that slaps. Mm. Tate Ratledge or Warren Erickson. This. Or that Tate Ratledge or Warren Erickson? Listen, Warren Erickson played well last year. He got some flack. He caught some heat at various times, but 
But I thought he played admirably last year. I thought, I thought he, he played really well on what I might remind you was a national championship winning team. I don't know if you know who won the national championship last year in college football, but let me remind you, Hark, it was the Georgia Bulldogs. Interesting. National champions. And Warren Erickson, big part of that. Now, that being said, get him out of this program. Because I'll take Tate Ratledge. Mm. Because Tate mm. Ratledge nasty. He nasty. Okay? You understand? It's not just what's coming off the back of his head. It's what's coming out of those pads. It is, it is, the, full, it is the full ticket of athleticism mm. and, like, that grittiness that you need, particularly oh, yeah. from an interior offensive lineman, Clint. Um. We've seen it many times at at at, at various times throughout um, Georgia players' careers, but Tate Ratledge has got it, and Georgia fans were deprived of seeing him last season. Yep. But um, I really expect huge things from this young man. So give give me give me Tate Ratledge all day, uh, y'all. I I know we don't. We don't like talking about this, but there's a man who walked on his tippy toes because his Achilles was so shortened by the calf structure of his muscular skeletal system uh, who played guard at UGA who just hated people and wanted to bring them pain. Okay. That same exact feeling is in Tate Ratledge's bones. Yeah. He is nasty. Y'all, he going to be healthy. He going to be here. You don't wear that hair without backing it up. I'm telling you no. right now. Okay. He business in the front. You understand what I'm saying? And the defensive line stands in the front. As, as far as I'm concerned, as far as last I checked, that's where the defensive lineman stands. Tate so, Rallage is the right option. I'm going to go ever. I'm going to go cross position on you here, Clint, and Take I'm going to make it hurt. I'm going to bring the pain. Don't do that. Are you ready? Are you ready? You can only keep one. Eric Gilbert or Keely Ringo. Who you got, Clint? You got to let you got okay. to let one of them birds fly. Look, I'm just gonna go gut. Just I need to do gut reaction because if I think on this too much, I'm gonna hate myself at the end of the day. This is Sophie's choice all over again. Um, I'm keeping Keely Ringo. Thought you might go that way, and the reason is because I have the best SEC offensive player at the same receiver type position as Eric Gilbert. That's the only reason. So I'm going to go Keeley. He won us. It's iconic. Maybe it brings me a little assurance that he was the one in which solidified the national championship. And he is a stud. He's an athletic freak over there. I'm going Keeley Ringo. What about you? See, I want I I hear all of your logic, but are we, we're just at an all time stock high on Keeley Ringo. All time. Like you just said, all time high. And so I worry that I'm buying high. And might be selling low on a guy like Eric Gilbert because I told you on the tight ends podcast, Clint, I think there is now somebody jumped in the comments once again and, and said, I disagree with you when I said there's a, there's a chance. I didn't say that this is what I think is going to happen, but I do believe that there's a chance that Eric Gilbert has the most leads this team in receiving. And that includes all American Brock Bowers. Um, I think the offense needs Eric Gilbert more than the defense needs Keely Ringo. So I'm going to keep Eric Gilbert. I'm going to let Keely Ringo fly. I know the corner is going to be a big struggle. We got a lot of young players. Big struggle. They're going to have to learn on the fly, but that's what I'm going to go. Uh, I don't hate that at all. Hey, one more before we go to break and, and yeah. come back. Um, and Dan, I, I don't really – I mean, I wanted to go running back here, but it's only going to pit you and I more in our corners of who we like. So I'm, I can't do that. I can't, I'm, I'm I'll take Zamir one. Yeah, th- there it is. That's, that's what I was hoping you say. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go end position. Uh-huh. Okay? And sure. I'm going to give you – you can get with this – and remember I said end. I'm going to give you Chaz Chambliss. Or MJ Sherman. And I that's for the rest of their Georgia career. Rest of their Georgia career. You can get with this, Chaz, you can get with that MJ Sherman. 
It's tough because neither of these guys, we've seen the full capability of what they've got. That's right. Tank. That's right. Chaz, one Robert more Be year. Of Robert Beal led this team in sacks That's right. last year after not really producing for three consecutive seasons. That's right. So it's not like it can't be in there just because we haven't seen it. MJ Sherman hasn't had a ton of opportunities. He's going to get those opportunities this year. Chaz Chambers also going to get those opportunities this year. I think I'm going to take MJ Sherman, Clint. I hate to let either of these guys go because they are two – you want to talk about that P word potential. These are two high potential guys. Could be two fixtures on the defense for That's the right. next couple of years. I think – I hate to see either of them go, but I think I'm going to keep MJ. Uh I'm going Chaz on this one. This is the first one we disagree on. I'm going Chaz. I've seen enough, and I think we have enough edge rushers. I think MJ is more in that line of a rusher. I think Chaz can drop back. I think he could play off the ball. I think he could take his hand up and, and cover the tight end. I think the kid's got some fire into him, so I'm going to go Chaz on that. we got more names that we're going to do this or that on right after Danny tells you about Bet Online. Well, Bet Online is your online sportsbook expert. Listen, we talked about betting yesterday on the podcast. And if you Ooh. like to Ooh. bet, betting it, Bet Online is the place to go. Go there right now, uh, make a deposit, enter the promo code locked on, and you get a welcome bonus on your initial deposit. That's free money that they give you with which to bet. They do that for us because they are the official uh, sportsbook partner of the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. That's why we talk about them so much because we trust them. We think that you should as well. So go there right now. Uh, whatever sports you're into, whether it's golf, tennis, uh, basketball, baseball, cricket, lacrosse, football futures, Heisman odds, whatever you want, uh, Bet Online has got it. And well, all the of brothers it, are, uh, are arbitrarily right now hitting the Stetson Bennett for Heisman campaign again. I thought you were saying they were researching the rules of cricket so that they could bet on that. They may be doing that as well. They are degenerates from everything that I am aware of. So uh, go to betonline.net, uh, the official sportsbook partner of the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. Enter the promo code Locked On to get a bonus on your initial deposit. Bet online, your online sportsbook experts. All right, Daniel, the floor is yours. This or that round three, what name you got for me? Uh. I mean, let's just spice things up a little bit. Ooh, okay. A little, a little caliente. You're, you're spicing things up a little bit? I like, I like I, the spicy sausage. I give you Christopher Smith or Stetson Bennett the fourth. That Clint. is that is caliente. That is beyond yeah, caliente. I don't think you understand how caliente this is, y'all. This is a little spice. Yeah. A little spice. They're Let's not go. even on the same side of the ball. They're not in the same position. Uh, Daniel. And they are – one of them, you couldn't find a Georgia fan that's got a negative word to say about Christopher Smith. You could not – you could not turn over enough rocks until you found someone that's nope. like, oh, Christopher Smith, I hate that guy. Get him off the field. And the other is the most controversial Georgia Bulldog in the last 25 years. Yep. By the way, can I just encourage – Georgia fan – you're not going to spontaneously combust if you say that you appreciate Stetson Bennett and like him for winning a national championship. How do you, you know? know? Oh, I, he doesn't because know I've, that in Georgia I've he doesn't said know it. it. I've said it a bazillion times. I'm still here and not on fire. That's how yeah, I know, that's, Daniel. That's a that's not that's a fallacy. That argument know, doesn't. It's a know. straw man argument. It doesn't apply to everyone. Do you know, it's like the guy who it's it's like the guy who has this really really attractive girlfriend, and you're like, oh, I bet she's just with you, like out of pity. I bet she she makes fun of you to all of her girlfriends, and the guy's like, I, I don't care. What <laughs> are you dating her or am I? I I'm here with her. What? I don't care. If you're saying buy. it's okay for us as Georgia fans to date Stetson Bennett. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. telling you all. This is exactly the takeaway that Daniel has proposed to you. Okay. Uh, no. Here, okay. Who, this, who, you, who you got? This, or this is Caliente. Christopher Smith is one of the best, and I say the best, and I'm not hy hyperbolic, one of the best covered safeties in the entire college football landscape. Y'all, 
That's period. objective. That is objective analysis, not from us. No. But from NFL scouts. Yes. From, from people who actually get paid to have talk, opinions on these types of things. Talk about a Devontae Wyatt-esque ascent in the draft. Christopher Smith, keep your eye out on. Um. Dan- this is this is this is spicy. This is a spicy meatball. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> give me, ugh, give me Christopher Smith. Give me Christopher Smith. I'll take the three other quarterbacks. We'll see what we can do. He's one of the best coverage safeties in the entire league. I think this DB group is going to be exceptional. I think we're going to lock down passing plays. I think that's going to be incredible. And I think as we've seen with Todd Munkin and his system and the coaching, give me Carson Beck another year. Give me somebody else in the system, and I think we can do something with it. If you pose those two, it has to be Christopher Smith. Yeah, I don't, I, I agree. Um, and that is not me disliking Stetson Bennett or disrespecting no. Stetson Bennett, but I think – I do think you look at Christopher Smith's backup, whoever that might be on the depth chart. You know, you move some pieces around, and and all of a sudden, Tyke's playing out of position, and you know, this guy we're trying to slot in, and we got this guy moving around. And then you look at again, it's G Day, and the only actual live game action we've seen from Carson Beck, might I remind you, has been horrifying. You don't need it's to remind been me. An abomination. You don't need to remind me. Um, I remember it perfectly clear. But based on what we've seen from G Day and what we've seen in terms of what we hope the progression would be with Carson Beck, I think the drop the the drop off might be less between Stetson and his backup. I'm sure none of our listeners will have any opinions about this one nope. uh, for the comments, and so we will just uh, leave it at that. Clint, you want to run this back tomorrow? We're going to keep this. We're going to keep this thing going. For another day, we just run this. I, I got more names I got to give you. I got more names, and I also got a I got a I got a little spicy take on this as well because now we might put this into another episode. But Daniel, with the the new schedule coming out, and maybe three every single year scheduling in the SEC for Georgia, I'm going to ask you possibly on next episode or the episode after what three schools you would want to keep this or that style on a schedule Ooh. every single year for Georgia. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna be. I'm back. gonna be. I'm gonna ponder it. I'm gonna be think. I'm gonna ruminate on it. Please let's do. Let's meet back. Let's meet back here and discuss it. Let's do it again. We'll, we'll do that. All right. We'll see y'all then. Lockdown Bulldogs podcast here on the Lockdown Podcast Network. See you. See you.